Hello and welcome back to another Hearthstone video. Today we're going to be doing something a bit different. We are going to be playing a meta deck this time. And as you can see it's the Sue Lock instead of, instead of us playing, you know, the random decks I've created myself. And this was just a little tester for the Naxxramas. The Handlock and the Miracle still need a few cards, but we'll get there with those decks. But first of all, let's go straight with the Sue Lock and straight to ranked. <coughs> Sorry if I'm coughing a bit, because, uh, how do I describe it? I'm a bit ill at the moment, but I guess it'll pass. It'll pass. But yeah, the Sue Lock, uh, I have put up a new template for my videos. It should have the deck list on the side, so I don't need to explain anything about it. Besides, it's an aggro deck. Now... Damn it, we are first in a priest which is anti-aggro by looking at it, so gonna get rid of the Doom Guard, the Soul Fire. Keep one Soul Fire, get rid of Dark Welfare because we have no other minions to play right now, so we'll see what we get. Anyone no we have no one drops, that is actually quite a disappointment. Hmm. Now, probably this will be a loss, I reckon, by looking at the game. Now, if I coin, should I coin into the Amani or the Juggler? I say Juggler, because obviously it's some of the Amani and so on, so on. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, so pretty much, usually I should have a turn one play, but obviously by looking at this I don't. Now since it's ultra aggro deck, I'm going to be straight up soul fire in that guy. Seems like a waste, but to me it isn't. <laughs> he's time for a little... That is my own opinion. So soul fire, he's probably, he's probably thinking, wow, you just soul fired my 3-2. But the whole point of this deck is just aggro, nothing else. Next turn I see myself doing the shield bearer with life tap. Now if my... If my knife drunk gets lucky on lucky on this hit, but first we're life tap. All right, so we're going to summon the shield bearer. Please hit this guy. That's perfect. That is great. Now I'm surprised he hasn't healed, but yeah, since I'm an aggro, he would want either to clear the board or to summon something. Now I'm probably going to go Argo defenders here. <clears throat> Argo, yeah, Argo, Argo. Defender Argus? Oh god, my my speech. My speech today. And now I did this because it gets my knife juggler out of the holy fire range, which we don't really want happening. You know. Oh we got my Doom Guard. Interesting. Now what can I do here? There's multiple plays. I can play my own Doom Guard? I'm gonna so far. Seems more reasonable. I lose the Doom Guard, sadly. But I'm perfectly fine with that. We got plenty more where that came from. Gun summon the Dial Walker. We have uh, Adam Squire, so now. 5 damage. And now, as you can see, this is where the aggro is. Because next turn I win if I believe I have a power overwhelming here. And, you know, also I have a Doom Guard. I don't win this turn, sadly, because that's a flat play. Use the sergeant. Hmm. I would summon life juggler, but I don't want another one of the holy novas. Actually, no. Hmm. Only have. Nah, we should not play. That's a. That would be a bad play. I would mortal call one of my own minions. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I did a good play there. I could have done mortal coil. If he does, okay, he's showing no signs of another Holy Nova, because now then again, that is a really good ball to the Holy Nova. Okay, so we got a Knife Juggler, abusive. We got two, three, six, yeah, we actually got plays everywhere, so we're going to see if this hits first of all. If it does hit, I hope it hits. It does hit. Alright, so now we're going to go Abusive Sergeant on the Argy Squire. Hit it. Oh, don't even have to use my Mortal Coil. That's pretty good value. Pretty good value. Good knife juggler. Now I'm expecting AoE. AoE then heal himself. 
Ooh, that is not good for him. Hmm, but then again, drastic measures. Now it isn't good for me because he's healing. But I reckon I reckon this is this is a win. This is my own opinion on it. Now do I risk I won't risk a flame imp at the moment because I'm still watching out for that AoE. And again I will have a one, two. Yeah, I'm still gonna have four damage even if he AoE, so that's perfectly fine by me. And as you probably notice, I'm a higher rank than I have been in the past videos, to be honest, because in the other videos I've been quite, let's say, low, low in the rankings, if you will. Okay, what sort of play shall I do here? And I'm going to defend Aragis these two, My seal and then send him straight in there. Now, I can get rid of him, should I? Do it, nah, this, first of all, we do this. Power of Worm for the win? Is that Power of Worm for the win? Four, nine, not, not yet. Back, We're just hitting this turn. I fight. Will, e even if he AoEs, AoE, dead. That won't die. What's some flame? Sure, why not? I believe this is GG, unless he has some mass AoE, which I have no idea what it could be. Or Taunter, why didn't I say Taunter? <laughs> Embrace the void. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, that's still GG, because I'm just going to power Whelming the Argent Squire, giving it 4-4. Four, four. Meaning that can easily get rid of that Shield Master, and then we can just win right here. And say well played like a nice player. There you go. Now that is the Sulok. That is the current meta. Well, it was the Aggro meta. Ooh. 40 gold. Don't know how much gold I have. I've been paying attention to that. Hmm. I'm probably going to be. I'll save up to 250 gold and then I'll spend 150. The only reason for this is. Uh, because I need to save gold for Naxxaramus once the wings start opening even further. Because as most of you know, the wings, you know they open and blah blah blah. You need 700 gold, or you pay a certain amount of pounds, or dollars if you will. I don't know how much in pounds, so because I haven't really looked at the configuring. But it's all good, it's all good. I'm not sure if the game volume is low. I will have to check the this out later, and if it is, sorry about that. This is what we want. This is what we want. Void Walker Flaming, perfect. Now, it's kind of bad against if he has the, I think it's Shadowwood Pain. Yeah, Shadowwood Pain, getting rid of uh, one card, which has you know, low attack. I believe it's below three, three or below. So now we're going straight for the Sioux. This is what the Sioux is supposed to be. Complete aggro. I should have really summoned a Knife Juggler. I believe that was a mistake on my part. Because I could have summoned a Knife Juggler. Then summoned my other minions. Yeah, Shadow Word Pain. I was expecting that. Now, Knife Juggler or Heart? Actually, one was saying Harvest. I can't summon Harvest. What am I on? <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. I can't summon it. Consummate. Next turn might be Harvest, depending on his play. If he does another Shadow of Death, that's... No, Pain, sorry. That's a good sign. However, that's not a great sign. Actually, no, that's a perfect sign. What am I thinking? I'll just go. Shield Bearer. You shall not pass. Good. That's what I wanted. I wanted this one damage. And it's not turn... It's not that turn yet, you know, the one where uh, Holy Nova comes, you know, turn 5. I'm risking it here with these two. I need a Defender of Argus if I want them to live. If I don't get it, then it's quite sad. What was his play? Play that guy. Right, you all know what the play is here. Now, the whole point is I waste my hand. Sounds a bit stupid, but that's how it goes. And what I mean by waste your hand is, because once, you know, 
you use the life tap ability in order to get an extra card. Now it seems like he's he's running out of steam, but I'm still going for him. I'm still plowing away at his face. Probably gonna actually no no yeah AOE would be great here for him. Doesn't have it. That's actually quite a shame for him. Or her, I'm not saying it's just him. <laughs> so he's healed for two, so technically I'm dealt three. Mortal coil, not so good here. So far, not even good here either. So I'm just gonna slowly hit him out of the face. If he summons anything, probably just more coil, but uh, soul fire mortal if or actually no mortal then soul fire. Ooh, he better not got my charger. The light protects mm, he got. Ooh, that's actually quite bad for him. He doesn't realise what he's done. Now who do I hmm. I'm sending the free two acid because if he has holding over this would be quite devastating for me because I feel like he's got mortal coil now I know that's a bit it's risking it I know but the only issue is if I send this guy at him think of it this way if I send the harvest golem at so the archer squire he will be at two life holding over does two damage leaving him with two mana and then he will have more coil I know it's very unlikely scenario but it's a scenario that I don't really want happening. Now I'm going to summon Biowolf here and Void, and then we're going to tap again. Ooh, and we got the Defender of Argus, which I wanted. Now I'm probably going to use on the Direwolf Alpha if if he doesn't die this turn. I will lose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hey, nah, never mind. I was thinking if he has Holy Fire. It's not GG. Let's see here, I've got 6, 8, 10. Oh god, that is... This is just overkill now. Damn, this is just overkill. 7. Yeah. yeah, this is just overkill. Well played. Wow. I did not expect... The Sulok, the be that great today, because in the past couple of days I have been losing. I have got 140 gold, and we're gonna be winning this soon, hopefully. I got one more level to the gold so far as well. This has actually gone pretty great. I'm not sure if my voice is, you know, quite low, as in quiet, I mean, sorry, as in quiet. I can't tell because it's been a bit of a new positioning for my mic and also again as I asked earlier is if there's an issue with the game volume because I won't know. So let's have a little look. Gul'dan versus Gul'dan. Your now I'm just going to have a quick look at his hand. I mean suffer. what he gets rid of. If he gets rid of loads, possibilities, hand lock. Hmm, that could mean he's handlocked, but I don't really want to... Hmm, Sue lock. This would be great against a Sue. So will this. These two, not so much at the moment. If it's handlock, I still haven't figured out how he fits handlocks just yet. It's... They're kind of my banes. They're kind of my bane right now. I don't know how to fully... Fierce them. Uh, let's go with the... Flame Imp Coin Shield Bearer. Forgot his name. Let's see what his move is then. If he's if he's oh no, if he taps then Okay, I'm on the The whole point of the hand lock is you get really big giants out. The more cards he has in hand, the more danger for me. The lower life he's on, the more danger for me. Think of it that way. Gonna definitely need the knife juggler out here. I will need to put out the young priestess. Actually, no, that won't help at all. Drain life, that's actually showing me he does not have. What you call it? Hellfire in his hand. So, I'm just gonna. wing it, if you will. The only reason I do this is because, since of that play, it doesn't seem like he has hellfire. If he does, then. Big mistake on my part. He doesn't. That's quite good for me. Let's have a look here. Now, what do I do here? That is the big question. Do I. Okay. 
I need to get rid of that Drake, but the only way I do that is I lose a lot of cards. Good. Shot Sun Cleric, my Shield Mirror, making it a 1 6. Mm. Putting it down to. Ooh, this is this is going to be painful for me. We'll have a, we'll have a look you where my Knife Chocolate hits well. first. Alright. Okay, that's a good hint. We need. We need. I actually don't know what we need, to be honest. Okay, so he's on five. I can get rid of it with the knife juggler. And. Mm, knife juggler and Amani. Do I find you the Amani over the priest? It's gonna have to happen. I don't want him torn up. The only reason I keep the priest is because, you know, its ability to give us extra life. I was actually hoping for the Gondor Void Walker, now if he has Hellfire. Oh, another one. Seven life again. He can get rid of it, but it's my whole board. Ooh, wait. That's actually turning out to be better than I expected. Four plus attack. I can put it on my Sun Shattered, so we're just gonna draw. Knife job, how interesting. So that's dead. I'm oh, just gonna keep him in the face yet again. Get all the knife juggler just in case, you know. Why is my. God, my. So we. Oh, okay. I thought my mouse was glitched apart then by looking while moving this. Hellfire is still a big threat. He hasn't used it, so if he pops out this card, I'm gonna be a bit. I don't know, a bit annoyed. A bit annoyed if he... Ooh, Siphon Sword. That is a good sign. Good sign, bad sign. I'm going to leave the Argent Squire for removal. Alright, we're just going to keep plowing away at his face. Now, the whole point of the handlock is he summons big guys near th this... Round about this tit. Round about this tit or next turn. Because the life he's on... His giants will only cost four mana. Now he's probably waiting to turn ten till they're zero. Wow. He must have the worst hand. Wow, okay. I believe he has the worst hand on the map. That won't help you. Hmm. Take a look on the. First we'll do this. Doom guys. Hmm, okay, I could go Direwolf here and send the 2 1 into the. Yeah, More we're gonna. Training? No, no, no. I don't know what's going on with my mouse More at the training? moment, so please forgive it. For going all crazy on you. Gonna Ooh. That would have been helpful last. Well, that time. Now he's on the turn where Molten Giant costs zero, but I have got a Doom Guard. Argent Commander, so that's an instantaneous 5 or 4. You either have to put up a taunt, or he has to remove everything on my board. Everything everything changes from this turn. If he summons any giants, like Molten a Mountain Giant, you know. This is why I hate playing Hadlocks. It's so, so scary. So scary. It's <laughs> the best way I can describe it. One Molten down. Alright, see. Where's the next one coming from? Well, I can take down one Molten with the abusive Argent combo. Ooh, I believe we. No, no, I don't believe we've won. Um, one. One damage, six, eight. Ah, oh, this is bad. Okay, should I just. Wait, what am I on about taking a siege? Uh, one giant out of this. I'm going crazy. All right, we're just life tap here. Hmm. All right, so take out the owl first of all. With the zero four, was that a bad move? Hmm. Yes, that would be a bad move. I would. I should 
something that you can get on and see what so happens. I think it's just going to be in his face turn. I greet you. So I'm going to summon the abusive here. Summon a doom. This is just going to be all out of his face sorted. Now he has to put up a taunt to clear my board. That's it. This is this is the deciding turn. I know this is going to be the last match, and it's probably going to be the loss. Oh damn! I know what's going to happen. If he's forced to send a one one uh, a eight, eight into a one two, I shock it. I haven't used a soul fire, I don't believe. My shield. Ah. Uh. Uh. Don't mind me, I'm just losing the world to look over here. Okay. So send the six, seven into the full four. It pains me to do this. The light protects me. This is, these are the turns which are just gonna I'm gonna send the 1-4 into that because it's gonna be a useless card on the board. Now he's probably just gonna hit my face with the 9-7. He's gonna use the 2-3 against the 2-2, two -two, that's obvious. Okay. That was expected. Uh, I can wipe his board though. Unless he gets rid of something on my board. If he has another taunt, this is over. Malagos? Wow. Wait, 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 why is Malagos in this deck? Um I don't understand the Malagos. I'm just gonna send the or die. Free do I send the free one into it? Do I send the or do I, no? Because that's four damage is a bit of a difference. All right, in his face. This is going to be one of those. Will I? Ah, damn it. Eight. Ooh, this is going to cut it close, most likely. Now that's eight, twelve. He just needs one card that does damage with spell, hellfire, or whatever. Is this well played? Is it? Oh, I'm more caught into 6 damage. Is this it? Eh, yeah, well played. Well, two, two games and three of one. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. I have not played the Sunlock for quite some time. The only deck I've played, uh, Warlock wise, is the Sunlock, and it shows you I've got 43 wins. Not bad, not good. It, you know what I mean. It's, it's kind of average because considering I just started it. I haven't played this in ranked, I've just played in casual. Same as the Shaman, but I believe it was my Quest of Legends deck which played the rank. That's why it's got 40 wins plus the rank Shaman, obviously. Now, I will show you this at, at the end of this video because considering, you know, it's only been like roughly 23 minutes, I believe. So I will show you. One say what was it? The handlock, yeah. Handlock not complete. Look at many cards. I've only got about half. I need one more faceless, and then I need all those giants. All of those giants. Blood Mage Falnos is in there for you know particular reasons. You know, for hellfire, for soul, uh siphon no not siphon soul, what am I on about? Hmm you know, soul fire, more coil. Ancient watchers in there for the Iron Beat Owl combo or the Sun Fury Protector. I don't even believe I have that, do I? Nope, I have no Sun Fury Protectors. Let's have a look here. So. No, I have no Sun Fury Protectors. That is quite shocking indeed. It's about 24 minutes now, so I'll quickly show you the Miracle and then I'll be off. Now, Miracle, I'm only missing like a couple more cards. Another SI, uh, SI7. Ooh. Agent and what else? I need two preparations. Edwin Van Cleef. And there's one more card that I require. It's not a sap. Definitely not sap. Hmm. 
I'll have a think about it. I believe there's one card, it's on the tip of my tongue. I don't really, can't recall. And that has been it. That was the Sulok, and thank you for watching. Bye!